I'm doing a brief video today on the PCD and stud patterns. Now if PCD means nothing to you, don't fret, it's very, very simple, I'll explain all. Uh, I'm going to show you how to easily and accurately measure the PCD pattern of your studs. Let's do it. PCD or pitch circle diameter sounds very complicated, but it's really not. All it is is an imaginary ring or circle that intersects or goes through the centre of all your wheel studs or wheel nuts. So I've basically done a little circle here, it's 130mm diameter across and I'll put it on this, what is a beetle hub and that intersects through the centre of all those and this beetle hub is 4, it's 4 studs by 130mm so 4 by 130 Checking the PCD of a 4 stud is super simple uh, so again you've got the imaginary circle which goes through the centre of your stud, your hole or your nut uh, and you're going to measure the diameter from one side to the opposite side. Obviously being a four stud you've got opposite nuts to work from. Now what I do see some people do is have a guess and they can do this, they get, oh, the, hole, the centre of the hole is about there and the centre of the hole is about there. Oh it's 134 PCD, 134 mil. And that's not accurate, that's rubbish, don't do that. Okay, you've got fixed items. You've got your nuts in or your studs in. Uh, all you have to do is work from the outside edge, assuming they're both the same. So the outside edge of one nut to the inside edge of the opposite side, 130mm. Quick and easy and accurate. If you're working with holes and you don't want to use a tape measure and you're lucky you've got some calipers, again work from the inside of the hole to the outside of the opposite hole. Nice accurate datum, 130mm, 4x130. Easy as that. Before we move on to measuring a five stud as accurately as possible, I want to show you a quick cheat method. Now this particular wheel adapter is five by 120, so 120 mil. And if we measure from the back of one stud to the front edge of the closest stud, that's 71 mil. If we take 71 mil and times that by 1.7, that's 1.7, it gives us a PCD of 120.7. So within one mil of the actual PCD, and it's quite quick to do. We can then double check it. So we measure from the same stud from the back edge to the front edge of the furthest stud away, and that's 115 mil. We take 115 mil and we times that by 1.05, and it gives us a PCD of 120.75. Again, quite close to the actual PCD. There is, however, a pretty major downside to this particular method, which is multiplication of errors. So if you take your, the initial measurement of 71mm, and it's not a nice, easy, well-lit adapter plate on a bench like this, and you measure it at, say, 73mm. 73, 73 times 1.7 is 124.1 PCD. So a small 2mm error in your initial measurement gives you a pretty major difference in the overall PCD measurement, and it's quick and easy to multiply your errors uh, and end up with the wrong result. Measuring a five stud is slightly more complicated, a little bit more tricky to do, simply because you've not got holes that are opposite each other, or studs or nuts that are opposite each other, so you can't easily measure across. So what you have to do is kind of imagine one. Now what, what I say people, people do basically, they get the tape measure like this and they guess. So they go, oh, it's about the centre of the hole's about there, you know, within a mill or two, and they measure from the centre of the hole to the outer lip of the, the ring in the centre there. And then they take that measurement, so let's say for example that's 20 mil, we go from the centre there to that lip, that's 20 mil, and you need double it. So that gives you 40, so that gives you 20 there, an imaginary 20 there, that's your 40. And measure the centre, that's 70, so we've got 20, 20 and 70, my PCD is 110. Now, that's just not accurate, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, with modern wheels, uh, you can have 5B110s, 5B112s, 5B114.3s, and they're very, very close, you have to be accurate. And if you get it out one mil in your guesstimate here, then the overall length can be two or more a mil out uh, overall. So you, you, you can advertise the wheels as the wrong wheels completely if you're selling on eBay or, uh, or buy the wrong wheels for your vehicle um, because you're just not ac measuring accurately enough. So again, you need to work from a datum. Because I want to get this as accurate as possible today, I'm not going to be using my tape measure. I personally just don't. I struggle to get accurate measurements using it, super, super small ones anyway, uh, especially when it's as dirty as mine. Uh, you've got the movement in the end there, and it's quite clunky in the end because it's quite fat, so it's sometimes hard to see. Um, so 
tape measure is not happening today for this one. Now I'm fortunate to have a vernier gauge and some small calipers. Uh, verniers are, I think probably most people have got these now, they're quite cheap. If you've not got any calipers, you could use something like a, an old set of school uh, compasses. All you want is two fixed points basically that you can open and close and measure. So to avoid any guesswork, we're not guessing where the middles or holes are or anything like that. Uh, so we're going to measure from the inside of the slip to the outside of the bolt hole. And then we're going to add that to the, again, the lip edge to the inside of the bolt hole. And then we're going to measure across the center. And we'll add those three figures together and that should give us the PCD as accurately as possible. So using the calipers, just going to measure the centre hole, got a slight drag. And I go that as near as damn it, 73, so 73.09. Next we're going to measure from the outside of the bolt hole to the inside of the ring in the middle. Which I get to 28.95. And then we're going to measure again from the ring in the centre to the inside edge of the bolt hole. And I get that 12.61. And the home working. <laughs> uh, so 114.65 is the measurement we came up with. Um, that's just 0.35 mil over 114.3 and 114.3 is a modern PCD, it's quite common in a lot of cars these days, a lot of the, the Japanese motors and stuff. Um, so I'm pretty confident that these wheels are 5 by 114.3. Uh, I have noticed that these are actually sold to me as a Volkswagen 112 wheel and at some point somebody actually fitted these on a T25 because I've got a picture of it. <laughs> um, and as a consequence there's actually a slight amount of damage on the insides I'm not sure if the camera can see that. I'll zoom in so making an accurate measurement on the inside lip um, is slightly tricky. So it's slightly annoying because the wheels aren't the 112 Volkswagen wheels that were supposed to be. Um, however, at least now I know what they are and I can sell them accurately and I'm not going to get any comebacks from any sellers saying they don't fit any misfitment issues. Um, so hopefully this video will help you guys uh, measure your wheels accurately with PCDs and say you'll not fall into the same pitfalls and traps I nearly did. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you again here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.